In this video, I'm going to show you my brand new Ludwig kit from the 1970s. As you might already noticed, this is my very first video on this channel, which is not a drum cover. And I'm a bit nervous about it. I've never really talked into a camera that much and my English is not the best. But however, let's try it. Before we begin, a quick note from our sponsor, which is surprisingly me or more precisely, my online drum school, drumx.com. And we at Drumx provide you with a hopefully perfectly fitting drum schedule in just a few clicks. We just went through our beta launch, which means that we just released the very first version of Drumx. So you could be one of the very first people to ever use Drumx. For more info, please check out www.dromex.com or just slide into my DMs or the DMs of one of the Dromex channels. Back to the Ludwig kit. I bought this beautiful kit back in November of 2022 from a very, very nice dude who had like four of these kits in his basement, but he just needed to have a bit more storage room. The classic model kit consists of a 24 by 14 kick a 30 by 8 and a 40 by 9 rack tom and an 18 by 16 inch floor tom. In addition to that, I set up a beautiful Ludwig Superphronic also from the 1970s. I went with Aquarian Response 2 coated heads on both sides of each of the toms and an Aquarian Superkick 2 on the bass drum. The Rezo head is still a very old head from Ludwig. A huge thank you goes out to Aquarian Drumheads and Frank Rohe for providing me with these beautiful drumheads since I think already five years or something. I've had the idea of buying a vintage drum set since a couple of years because I do quite a lot of studio work out of my own place here in Germany. And in order to provide the singers, songwriters and or producers with a good fitting drum sound for all the different songs, I've needed one of those vintage sounding drum kits. Before I sit behind the drum kit and play a bit for you so you can actually listen how this drum set sounds, I'm gonna walk you through the microphones I've chosen for this quick session. On the kick I'm using a Sennheiser E902 and a Solomon subkick, both in front of the kick drum. The snare is mic'd with an SM57 from the bottom and a AKG Cardioid 190C from the top. The rack tom is mic'd with a Sennheiser 421 and the floor tom is mic'd with an Audix D6. I definitely need another Sennheiser 421 for the floor tom because the D6 is somehow pre-cued, which I love on modern sounding and fat and big floor toms but I think for this kind of vintage sound, the D6 is not the right choice. I use the Octaver MK012s as overheads, an Aston Origin as a hi-hat mic and another SM57 as a Wurst mic. If you don't know what a Wurst mic is, check out Moses Schneider on YouTube. There's a video he talks about the Wurst mic. Fantastic. The room is picked up with two beautiful No Hype Audio LRMV mics, which are there, a Warm Audio WA47 as a mono room mic, and a Rode NT1 in the hallway in front of the studio. I also tried a Grundig GDM15 vintage mic from I think the 50s or something, which is this, this microphone. Weird. Let me get behind the kit and play something for you.
before ending this video, I just want to let you know that I'm planning to do videos like this more often on this channel. A little teaser, in the next video I'm gonna show you how I've recorded drums for a lo-fi record. So, see you next time. Cheers. Or is it called Ludwig? <laughs>